Glaciers are melting. It's our fault and new research out of the University of Texas may prove it. When you get this many glaciers retreating simultaneously, there's no way to explain that outside of an external climate change happening. Ginny Catania is a glaciologist studying Greenland's glaciers. They move around and change on annual and, and less than annual timescales, but we're also seeing this multi-decadal retreat that's happening across all of Greenland. Catania said 90% of these glaciers have shrunk in the past few decades. We know there are natural fluctuations in the ocean temperature that also affect these glaciers. And these are for the most part random. To understand what's happening, researcher John Christian created a computer model that can predict when a glacier will retreat, AKA melt. We ran thousands of simulations of these models. He determined that when human driven climate change is factored in, glaciers melt faster than when it's not. We think we have now a better way to look for uh, the, the human influence on these glaciers going forward. If you don't have that um, climate trend in there, you only get a smaller population of glaciers retreating. Catania, who oversaw the study, said that the model found that once the glacier retreated past a certain point, usually a mound of rock beneath the glacier, it melts even faster. We can see how glaciers retreat very rapidly off of these bumps um, in, in the last like 30, 40 years of satellite data. Currently, the model used generic glacier data. He didn't actually provide the smoking gun in this study. That's for like a, the next step. And the next step is to apply it to specific glaciers and see how much climate change has affected each of those. So why should you care about humans causing glaciers to melt? If all the glaciers on Earth melted, the USGS reports that sea levels would rise 230 feet. We're going to have to deal with sea level at the Texas Gulf Coast in particular. We're going to have to deal with more extreme summers. That would leave cities like Houston, Corpus, Galveston, and others underwater. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.